So, uh, okay. Okay. Um, so this only goes up to uh, to uh, three dollars and uh, ninety nine cents. Um, it's uh, we think from nineteen thirty two. Uh, it, it froze up uh, in 1967, um, and a new version of this cash register was in the uh, film uh, L.A. Confidential from 1997. Um, in, there, in that movie, there's a diner, uh, and there's been a massacre, and a split-second shot of uh, the cash register. And what's unique about it I'm not sure if you want to come around to the other side at this point. You want to come around the other side too? Yep. So, okay, uh, so see uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, silver dollars, ones, fives, and tens, but no spot for a $20 bill. I mean, talk about no inflation. How long ago does it have to be? when your ambition in life falls short of a $20 bill. Um, and so in the uh, movie, uh, the cash register is open somewhat like this, and, and you can see the arrangement that uh, we have here. Um, so how did you do 20s? Uh, put them in with the 10s. Uh, all okay. the bigger bills just went in with the 10s. Okay. Uh, and as you can see... Uh, some people ran tabs and never paid them. <laughs> and you can see those. You can see those we'll here. collect. We'll collect. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, instead of a, a calculator calculating the sales tax at many points in history, uh, there's a chart here when sales tax was 8%. Uh, you can see that. Uh, this handmade chart here I don't know what year that's from but that was the uh, price of sandwiches at some point deep in history uh, what is the current price for a turkey sandwich uh, it was 1040 although we were gonna raise it to 1090 uh, until Bob had so if you had to guess when 375 was what year was 375 it, uh, must was that your time no. <laughs> uh, yeah, it had to be uh, probably in the seventies, I guess. So, so what? When you, just for when, when you used this machine, what, did you enjoy using this this register? Absolutely, absolutely. Was it the heartbeat of this place? Well, it wouldn't go that far. But, but I mean, but, but I mean, everything went through here. Yeah. So, so the thing is, um, let's uh, do this. Say, say it was 1367. Uh, the, so 1367, I well, might as well actually put it, put a $20 bill. And say they gave you a $20 bill for that. So without using electricity um, and without knowing what the answer to the question is, how to get the correct change without knowing the answer. So go start at the pennies and get three pennies that brings it up to 1370. Then you get a nickel that brings it up to 1375. Then you get a quarter that brings it up to $14. Then you take a, a single out, which brings you up to $15. You take a five out and it brings you up to the $20. So um, it's a method for virtually anyone, even the worst of math, <laughs> can always get the correct answer without even knowing what the answer is. Uh, and I, as time went on and credit cards became more common and people were like phobic towards coins, uh, I would sometimes amaze uh, people uh, by that method, hmm. uh, both customers and uh, new employees. Did you ever talk to other businesses who had that same practice? Uh, well, they. That kind of thing disappears. Uh, it was all electronic. Uh, there's no uh, no skill involved in making change of the jewel. Did the IRS ever come and check your math? Uh, <laughs> uh, we were audited uh, <laughs> twice, uh, but it's, 
I was in the state of Illinois both times. Yeah. Uh, That's cool. And um, the first one was when I was brand new, so I don't know. I can't tell you about it. So, for Steve's standpoint, who, when did that machine? When did this machine come into into this location? Uh, 1932. 1932. So we bought, uh, or my dad bought uh, the deli in 1949. In 1949, and um, um, various things came at the store, uh, including this uh, the scale, uh, the food refrigerator, uh, the counter, the, the string contraption. Uh, Things that don't come to mind at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Are you okay parting with this? Is it sad? Uh, yeah, Are you sad? I am very sad. Uh, I, you know, I'm at the, I live in an apartment, and I'm 70, and I'm at the point in my life where uh, I'm trying to get rid of possessions and not get new ones. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm very sad because, uh, you know, make change different from everybody else in the world. It's, yeah. Well, thanks for all that you did for our community. You're a big part of our community. Thank you so much, Sean. Okay.